2010 Honda CRV, and today we're going to be replacing the AC compressor. Let's get to it. Now, I've already evacuated the system. If you want to know how to do that, make sure you hit the subscribe button so when I post a video on how to perform a evacuation and recharge on your AC system using standard tools, you'll be able to see that video. Um, if you have already watching this, that video might already be posted. So, you know, click on my channel and uh, go to the search bar for my channel and just put in something along the lines of how to recharge your AC unit with basic tools. That'll probably be what I title it. Other than that, let's get to it. First step, we're going to go ahead and remove the front passenger tire. It is held on with 19 millimeter lug nuts. That was, that was not on there at all. Okay. Scary. Anyway. Next, we're going to be removing this uh, plastic covering right here. It's held in with two pop tabs up top and some on the bottom. I usually just use a flathead screwdriver to get these ones out. Sometimes they can be a pain and I'll have to get a... Like this one. Great. What I was getting ready to say right before that pop tab broke was get yourself a pair of diagonal side cutters. And you can put them underneath that tab and gently pry it up. But I'm going to go ahead and dig into this one a little bit and see if I can't... I don't think it's going to let me. I think it's just going to fight me. So. I'm just going to go ahead and break this one. And I'll have to replace that later. The vehicle all the way up. I can actually see that this is actually just one big piece going all the way around the front. That's okay because we're going to need to remove the front portion of this anyway. So you can see right in here. There's one pop tab, a push tab, and then there's several along the front. That one's missing. And I don't need to remove all of these. I just want to be able to remove the bulk at least over halfway and then just try to twist it and get it out of the way. Make this job a little bit easier. Also looks like right here there's a little 10 millimeter bolt come on tripod 10 millimeter bolt that's actually pressing these two uh, covers together go ahead and remove that 10 millimeter bolt and we now have all the access to the AC compressor that we should need I'm just gonna go ahead tuck this out of the way I can't. There we go. Perfect. Tuck it up in the driver's front wheel well so it's out of the way for the entire repair. Next, I'm going to go ahead and take off the drive belt. The drive belt tensioner is right up in there the worst possible place to get to it we're going to use our serpentine belt tool with a 14 millimeter uh, crow foot Once we got a bite on it, 
we can rotate it out of the way to give us some slack. And I'm just gonna slide it off of the water pump because that'll be the easiest way. And then once that slack has been removed, we can pull it off of the AC compressor. If it'll stop fighting me. diesel truck for no raisins all right you don't need to remove the drive belt all the way just get it off of that AC compressor and that should be about all you need now as I stated previously the Freon has been removed from our system so I'm just gonna go ahead and start removing the AC lines the first one is right here held on with a 10 millimeter bolt and the second one looks to be up top there it is, right there. Let's see if I can't get a little light bar in here. There we go. And we see the hose coming right down here. And it connects right there. And there's a 10 millimeter bolt that's facing upwards. Probably be easiest to get this with a, uh, like a gear wrench or something like that, or a very small uh, quarter inch ratchet set. because that one seems to be like it'll be the more difficult one. I'm gonna go ahead and attack that one first. See if I can't keep my camera on it. And my 10 millimeter gear wrench. Nope, I'm gonna have to put the camera down. Dang, that's on tight. <clears throat> Goodness gracious. That's a 10 millimeter bolt. It should not be on like that. There's the first bolt. And the second bolt is in a pretty convenient spot. I should just be able to get my little baby impact on it. And there's the second one is actually a nut. Now we go ahead and remove our hoses. Try to move these out of the way. And then with the hoses removed, we have easy access to our electrical connector. As you can see right here in the back, it's just a little push tab. You push up and it'll slide off of the, I don't know what you want to call that, what it hangs off of, I guess. And then right here up top, you can see our next push tab. Press down on that while separating. You might need two hands to do it. and disconnected. Now, make sure that wire is out of the way because you don't want it to get caught when you're installing your new AC compressor and it'll actually get crushed up against the, uh, the block and then you'll be really screwed. All right, and next we got four bolts to remove and then it'll be out and they look to be 12s, but let me check. They are super dirty but they are 12s now the bottom bolts 
are very easy to access. They're right there. The top bolts are a little bit covered up by the subframe. So I'm going to go ahead and just use a 3H impact with the universal joint on it and see if that doesn't do the job for me. Nope, that universal joint does the job pretty good actually. I'm going to take the top two bolts out first because I usually like to start with the harder stuff. I go. There we go. Second bolt out. Third bolt. And be careful with the fourth with black. And be careful with the fourth bolt because you don't want to drop this compressor on your foot. Now these do have small little hangers. I'll show you that in a second. That's why it didn't fall. I like the hangers and then sometimes I don't like the hangers because it makes reinstallation really difficult. Let's go ahead and just lift it up off the hanger and then we can slide it out. Like so. If you look at our compressor, you can see that there's actually tiny little hooks onto the back of them. See that little hook? And those actually hook on to the back of that metal plate, which allows it to hang. Convenient, but sometimes it gets in the way. Uh, the one on these Honda CRVs worked pretty good though. And that's pretty much it for the removal of the AC compressor. The installation process is the exact same thing we just did, just in reverse order. So I usually don't waste time making videos about it. Uh, your new compressor will either come with oil or without oil. Make sure you know which is which, because if you need to add oil, you have to add oil. Uh, if you want warranty on some of these vehicles, they do require you to replace a couple other parts. I don't know if I'll be making videos for those yet, but I'll do my best to record them and see how they come out. Uh, if this video helped you out, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you all next time.